So on to uh, problem number six of the MIT integration we call final exam 2017, uh, which is a definite integral from x equals to 1 to x tending to um, infinity of 1 over x times open bracket x squared plus 1 close bracket. So this is actually an interesting problem. Um, we do have uh, two methods. Uh, for which you may be able to uh, solve this problem. One that involves just pure um, substitution um, and then the other one that involves a trigonometrical function uh, substitution. Um, so let's let's see how we're able to solve this. So um, our uh, problem um, as we saw is the definite integral from x equals to 1 to x tending to infinity of 1 over x times x squared plus 1. Um, I think my initial um, this need to uh, work on this would be to substitute uh, u let's say we say u be equal to x squared such that uh, du dx is equal to 2x and what that means is that du or let's just say half du could be used to substitute x dx um, and then uh, what that means is that if we look at our limits, we are moving from the x domain uh, to the u domain. When x is equals to 1, 1 is equ u equals to 1 squared, which is going to be 1. And then infinity and d squared. Um, it still would remain in the infinity uh, space. Um, therefore, so our problem um, would be expressed as follows. Half 2x dx over x squared so we've created x in the numerator and also 2 there and we've also created a 2 to cancel um, whatever we've created um, and, and, and since we saw that uh, 2x dx could be substituted um, with du and then uh, u squared is u I mean, x squared is u, and x squared is another u. And then we have 1 to infinity. Um, so we can easily express the fraction we have there as partial fractions. Um, and that is 1 over u minus 1 over u plus 1. OK. Um, 1 over u uh, can be integrated to natural logarithm of u and then um, 1 over u plus 1 can also be integrated to natural logarithm of u plus 1, 1 infinity. Um, I would like to combine those two together uh, in a way so that we have log of 1, 1 to infinity, and also express it as, because I want to deal with that infinity away, so that I have something like that. And that we've gotten from just dividing the numerator, both the numerator and denominator, under the log function with u. 
So it's a half now limit as u tends to infinity of natural logarithm of 1 over 1 plus mu minus limit as u tends to infinity uh, to 1 of log of uh, 1 over 1 plus 1 over u. So this is um, limit as u tends to infinity. This tends to 0 here. And so the entire thing tends to 1. And so that becomes 0. Log of 1 is 0. And then here, as u tends to 1, 1 over 1 is 1. So it's same as log of 1 over 2. OK? So this becomes a half of a negative log a half, which is a half of log of 2. So in other words, our problem integral from x equals to 1 to x tending to infinity of dx or 1 over x x squared plus 1 is equals to log 2 over 2. Uh, so that is the first method for which we may be able to solve uh, that. Um, let's see uh, the second method, um, method two. One to infinity, one over x plus one. So uh, most of the times whenever you see x squared plus one, the other substitution that you may want to test out is x. Let x be equal to tangent of theta. So that dx d theta equals to sec squared theta, meaning that you can substitute dx with sec squared theta d theta. Right? And then um, the other important thing is if you're moving from x to theta domain, when x equals to 1, arctangent of 1 is pi over 4. When x tends to infinity, um, the arctangent tends to pi over 2. Okay? So our problem now becomes 1 to infinity of uh, is the same as uh, integral from pi over 4 to pi over 2 of sec squared theta d theta in place of dx over tangent theta over tan x squared is tan squared plus 1, which is the same as integral from x equals to pi over 4 to x equals to pi over 2 sec squared theta d theta over tan theta. Tan squared theta plus 1 is sec squared theta. So this would cancel. And our problem now becomes a very simple problem. Pi over 4 to pi over 2 of uh, 1 over tangent theta, which is the same as pi over 4 to pi over 2 of cotangent of theta, which is easy to just visualize as an integral from pi over 4 to pi over 2 of cosine theta over sine theta, and which is easy to see as uh, the, the derivative of sine theta over sine theta. Okay. Um, so we do have our problem that has become now integral from pi over 4 to pi over 2 of the derivative of sine theta over sine theta theta. 
And we know that any function that uh, consists of a numerator that's a derivative of the denominator, it results into um, the natural logarithm of the function for which the denominator is. So uh, we have natural logarithm of sine theta um, from which is the lower limit is power over four, upper limit is power over two. So this is log of sine uh, pi over two minus natural logarithm of sine pi over four. So sine of pi over two um, is one, log of one this tends to uh, zero. And so the next part is natural log of sine of pi over four, which is natural logarithm of root two over two, which is the same as one over um, root uh, two, um, which is um, same as positive log root two. Um, and then we pull half up the power half, which is, uh, and this goes this side, so we get a half of natural logarithm of two. Um, and so uh, quickly we are able to see that our problem, integral from x goes to one to infinity, uh, x and infinity of one over x times x plus one equals to uh, log two over two. Okay, and that is our answer. So again, thank you so much for your attention. Um, either of those methods um, would work out. Um, so um, I, I think it's just all about flexibility on what you, you choose and what works best for you. Uh, until next time, uh, bye bye.